Hey, uh, Brandon Robertson here with the Mortgage Growth System, and I wanted to continue on uh, this, these posts here about what top producing loan officers do that average ones don't. Uh, again, if you don't know me, I talk to a lot of, uh, work with a lot of loan officers, and I have the fortune to work with some very high producers, um, and I see the way they do things, and they definitely do things differently than uh, your average loan officer, ones that are just closing a few deals per month. And today, the tip I wanna talk about is um, essentially the way they view their opportunities, right? So. Um, the thing I've noticed is that they, the top producers never um, discount or write off leads or opportunities or referrals that they have, even if they seem like they're not going to qualify for a loan right now. So that's one thing that I see a lot of average guys do. They go and look. They're like, oh, well, this person's no good. I'm not going to talk to them. I'm not going to follow up with them. I'm not going to do anything. They're just basically thrown away, right? The, the, what top producers do is they nurture these people, even if it's going to take a year, two years, three years. And this is how they have one of the reasons why they have uh, such you know booming businesses, why they have so much business is because they have this huge pipeline. And one of these days, even those people that seem like they're not going to qualify right now, they're going to pop and they're going to turn into an opportunity or they're going to turn into a deal, I should say. So basically what I'm saying is look at every opportunity as actually an opportunity, regardless of whether or not it's going to come to fruition soon or later. So hopefully you found this tip useful. I know it may be a little hard to do, but the thing I would say is, you know, definitely involves some automation. I know most of you folks have um, CRMs of some sort. Every now and then I talk to some loan officers that don't. If you don't, you got to get one. Um, use use something. We use LineDesk. That's one of the systems we recommend. It's awesome. But hopefully you already have one. Do whatever it takes to keep these people in your pipeline, no matter how long it may be before they, they become ready, because it's, it's really well worth it, especially if you have automation doing the work. So anyway, um, I will continue. I have a whole bunch more tips like this. Uh, so if you like this one or have comments or questions, go ahead and pop them in the post here or like and follow this, uh, my page and, and you'll hear more tips. I've got some better ones coming too. So take care. Thanks.